1997, the National Education Association had a big idea. Let's have a huge reading celebration that gets kids excited about reading. Read Across America was born. And every year since, on March 2nd, Dr. Seuss's birthday, parents and educators all over America answer the call to pick up a book and read with a child. Making NEA's Read Across America the biggest celebration of reading in the country. 20 years and 45 million readers later, NEA's Read Across America Day is bigger than ever. We came back to the nation's capital where it all began to celebrate Read Across America's 20th anniversary and building a nation of diverse readers. What we're focusing on in this 20th year is the diversity of authors, the diversity of stories, the diversity of the characters in a book. It's what makes the connection with our students when they can see their lives reflected in the stories that they love. Reading lovers from all over came to NEA headquarters to celebrate with us, including some very special guests. Oh, come on, good morning! I love Read Across America Day. It's a celebration of the love of the written word, which for me is akin to breathing. Kids today, they see themselves on television and magazines and, and movies all the time, but we still have a dearth of representation, diverse representation in children's literature. People like Marley are so important because she looked around and saw a world where she wasn't represented in the books that she was being exposed to. Mrs. Barrington rolled out a big poster with all of the president's pictures on it. Grace Campbell could not believe her eyes. Where are the girls? That is a very good question, said Mrs. Barrington. The truth is, our country has never had a woman president. No girl president ever, Grace asked. No. I love to read, and I want to inspire other kids to read too. I know from my experience that kids are much more excited about reading when they can read a story about a character that they relate to. It really does help when kids can see themselves in a book. Okay, you. Good job, good job. We need little cat in. We need O. We need P. We need little cats. Can I tell you guys, I'm kind of thinking that maybe you should. <laughs> The adults couldn't resist. They had to get in on the fun, too. Spam. Green eggs and ham. Yeah! All right, two for two. One of the most important parts of reading and literacy is diversity in children's literature. We see as more and more books come out that speak to a diverse audience, more and more readers are engaged. First Book and the NEA have worked together for years and years, working to get brand new books, books from Dr. Seuss, books about diverse themes into the hands of children across the country. And no reading celebration is complete without our favorite cat, who knows a thing or two about fun. A lot of things have changed in 20 years in our celebration of Read Across America. But there's one thing that will never change, and that's the message we want to send to our students. Reading is absolutely essential to your success in everything that you're going to do in your life, and the best way to learn how to read is to love reading. Get those kids to love reading, get them to see how important it is, and they will take off. They will fly.